Hi guys, so I'm Rumi, the math person. I'll be going over the memory bus property that the exponential function has. And I think this is really neat because note in the continuous case, exponential function is the only one that has a memoryless property as opposed to in the discrete case, only the geometric has it. So I think it's a really cool idea and it will really help you save time on the exam if it's conditional probability for exponential functions. So here's the basic idea. So I have a CDF for the exponential function right here. And suppose that it starts at a point S. Then what's the probability of the graph underneath? What will be the CDF underneath this part? Well, it's going to look like this, right? This is S. It's going to be like that. But what we all know is that we, we know that all exponential function has to add up to 1. So we would have to actually scale it. So we would have to just kind of like stretch it up so everything beyond this, everything after S, also adds up to 1. So then our graph then after looks like this. Notice something? It's the exact same graph that we initially had. So the idea is that even if it starts, even if you wait one hour, it really doesn't matter that you already waited an hour. The function is, the probability after that is going to be the same. And I know, like, I'll cite sources down below, but this one YouTuber, he was like, oh yeah, you, you can't apply this to waiting for a bus because, you know, our intuition is if you if you know that the bus is going to come in 10 minutes, and it's already been nine minutes, you think the probability is gonna be higher. Yeah, that's true. But you can apply it to, for example, like a light bulb. So e if if you know that the light bulb is supposed to last ten years and it's already been nine years, then the probability of it of its lifespan, given it's an exponential function, is still gonna be the same. It's just gonna be nine years plus the exponential function. Does that kind of make sense? Okay, okay. Well, I'm going to do like a... Okay, so this is what we can do. Am I still recording? Okay, I'll do a super quick proof-ish kind of thing. So what? let's say, what's the probability that x is greater than some value... value um, let's say s plus x, given that the x is already on this side. It's already on this side. x is greater than s. Okay, we can use our conditional probability to break this down into x greater than s plus x and x is greater than s over probability that x is greater than s. Okay, well, the numerator, we're saying probability that it's x is greater than s plus x and it's greater than x some x some s. So that's kind of like redundant because we're basically saying the same thing twice. So we can actually simplify the numerator down to x is greater than s plus x divided by the probability that x is greater than s. Okay, well, hey, we know how to find these because um, this is just a um, exponential function. So we know the CDF of an exponential function is just 1 minus e to the negative um, x over lambda. Right, 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 right. So then using that, this is for CDF. So this is if so for a graph like that, it's this part. So if we're finding something that's bigger, we have to do one minus this thingy. So that means this is going to be one minus one minus e to the negative s plus x over lambda divided by 1 minus 1 minus e to the negative s over lambda. Right, right, right? Okay, okay. So then we can actually simplify this because we know 1 minus 1 cancels on both sides and the negatives distribute. So this becomes positive. So it becomes an e to the negative s plus x over lambda divided by e to the negative s over lambda. And we can actually break this down into, take the numerator, break it down into e to the negative s over lambda times e to the negative s, oh, I meant to say 
x over lambda divided by e to the negative s over lambda. So these two cancel out. And all you're left with is e to the negative x over lambda, which is exactly the same thing as saying the probability of x greater than some little, some bit value x. So it's the same thing. Woo, we just proved it. Check, check, check.